They've done it again. Just like last year's plugin, completely overhauling how easy it is to make short form content, this time they've done it for multi-streaming. But what else would you expect with Harris Heller as one of the co-owners steering the crew? Honestly, I did not expect to be this excited about the multi-streaming plugin by the people at Atom, but it is almost perfect. I'm gonna show you how it works, how you can fix one of the biggest problems of multi-streaming, and the one thing I really thought they would have fixed. To start off, we are gonna get two plugins, the vertical and the multi-stream plugins, both by Atom. I will leave the links in the description down below, but once you've downloaded them, just go ahead and install them into your OBS folder. Now, when you open your OBS, you'll see a few new boxes have appeared. There's a video that looks like this on the channel already. So if you want to see how to set this one up in detail, you can watch them after this one. You don't need anything I do there for this video, and the link will also be in the description. The multi-streaming plugin is hiding in your docs, by the way. So let's just go ahead and enable that. Cheeky little plugin. Anyway, once you've opened the multi-stream dock, click the yellow cog button to get to the settings. The main outputs are the outputs of your main horizontal stream. If you normally stream on Twitch and have logged in in OBS, you will see the built-in stream with the Twitch logo. If you normally stream on YouTube, then you will see the YouTube logo instead. To the main outputs, we are going to add any of the horizontal outputs that you want. If you want to add YouTube, then give it the name YouTube Horizontal and set it to the primary ingest server. To find your YouTube stream key, you can click the link in the tooltip or you can open up your YouTube studio and go to the live dashboard by clicking create and go live. Here, just copy your stream key and paste it into the stream key box and click create output. You can do the exact same thing for Twitch. Pick the server that is closest to you and add your stream key in the stream key box as well. You can find that one in your streamer dashboard settings stream. You can do the same for kick, by the way, where you can find your stream key in the settings and you don't have to change the server. Once you've added all the platforms you want to add, you will want to have a look at the advanced settings because this is where Atom Vertical really makes a difference. In the advanced settings, you can choose both the video encoder and the audio encoder. If you choose the main encoder, it will just use the stream that you are sending to your main platform, so using the settings of OBS itself, to just output your stream to multiple platforms. This is a great choice if you have a bit more of a budget PC, because this means your graphics card only needs to encode your stream once, saving a massive amount on GPU power. If you choose anything else like NVENC H264, then you get all the usual settings, which means you can choose a different bitrate for each of your streams. So if you want to stream to Twitch with the usual 6K bitrate, but want to go to YouTube in 4K using a 20,000 to 35,000 bitrate, well, now you can. Okay, let's add some vertical streams as well, because this is not as straightforward as you might think. All the advanced settings stay the same, but TikTok and YouTube both are a little bit weird about this. If you want to stream directly to TikTok, you are going to need a stream key, which are very hard to come by nowadays. I mean, even I don't have one and that, well, it says nothing really. If you do have one, you can find the server you need to stream to by following the link in the tooltip and adding your stream key, then clicking OK. Otherwise, the best option stays to click the virtual camera button on your OBS and use that as a camera source in your TikTok studio. But it does still work for YouTube. Yes, you can use this to stream to YouTube in horizontal and vertical at the same time. But there is a catch. Let me explain. When we add another YouTube output, you need to add the stream key. But you have already used your stream key for the horizontal stream. You used to just be able to send it to the backup ingest server, but that that no longer works. Don't worry though, you can just head into your live dashboard, click here and create a new stream key. I'm going to call this vertical streams and copy paste it into the stream key box. But as I said, there was a catch. When you stream to YouTube in horizontal and vertical, YouTube sees this as two different streams, each with their own title and chat. Honestly, it's a little weird, but there is a solution to all these problems if you have streamer.bot. What I like to do is make a very simple action, which I call the YouTube updater. As the trigger, pick Twitch, general, stream update, and just click OK, so it checks every title and game update. Then in the sub actions, Choose a change title sub action and set it to status. To combine the chats, and yes, also your Twitch chat, 
head into the platforms tab and log into your YouTube account. If you're running StreamerBot version 0.2.4 or later, you will be able to see all the live broadcasts that are planned on your channel right here, and they will as a default be monitored. This means when you open your streamer to bot chat, you can see all the chats combined in the same place. Your YouTube horizontal, your vertical, and your Twitch. Which leads me to the one thing that I think Atom should have fixed with this multi-streaming plugin. When you log into your OBS using your YouTube account, you get the option to manage your broadcasts. Meaning you can create, see, and edit every single planned live stream on your channel. You can set a title, description, and even a thumbnail straight from OBS, so you don't need to go to YouTube every time you want to go live. But when you add your YouTube channels to the multi-stream plugin, you can't do this. So before you stream, you're gonna have to go to your YouTube account, make two streams, one for horizontal, one for vertical, with their own thumbnails, titles, and descriptions. Okay, just as I'm filming this, I checked my Twitter where I raised this exact issue with the developers. Seems like they are aware of the problem and are looking for a solution, which I would say is pretty quick work on their end. Hopefully they push it out soon and I can, for once, be completely happy with a plugin. Multi-streaming has become a lot easier, but what was once hailed as the savior of discoverability is not going to get you more viewers. At least, not if you aren't able to talk to your chat and keep people entertained. Which is why I made the video right here, which will guide you through your first steps to become an entertaining creator. And as always, stream better, stream smart.